Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be decluttering and doing some organization around the house. I have to always start with a cup of coffee. I'm sorry if you guys get annoyed with seeing these coffee clips, but I need my coffee to get me started throughout the day, especially being pregnant and not getting any sleep. So I am making my cup of coffee and we are going to jump in to decluttering some of the kids' toys. The main thing I wanted to focus on was the kids' toy box downstairs. And let me tell you, I have not gone through this toy box in a while. There was a sippy cup. There was our light TV remote. There was our Roku, like, protector sleeve in there. And there was some sort of liquid at the bottom of this toy box and it was not a good smell so I decided to dump the entire thing out and at first I was just going to clean it by hand with a cleaner and then I realized there was so many little cars and everything was just sitting in this liquid I don't know what it was I don't know if it was like a milk or juice but the smell was awful and so I decided I am just going to throw it all into a sink bath and I put the toy box outside because I could no longer, especially being pregnant, handle that smell. And I'm surprised we didn't smell it. It's like once I moved all of the toys from the toy box, you could really smell that horrendous smell. So I put the toy box outside and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have Gage clean it because if I try to clean this out, I am going to vomit. I didn't show it, but we are getting rid of a bag full of toys. Unfortunately, we are not going to be donating it just because it was sitting in that nasty liquid and a lot of the toys were broken, so we will be throwing it out. But while the other toys were getting their sink bath and drying, I went around the living room to do a semi-deep clean. magic eraser to our walls and I always use a washcloth after because I feel like the magic eraser leaves a weird residue I then wiped down our coffee table and our end tables and just got everything all dusted and cleaned dusted down the fireplace, gave it a good wipe down, and then I needed to organize the cabinet. So one side of the fireplace has just books and it's already organized, but the other side has all of our gaming controllers and cords and video games. And one of these days I need to go up to the Dollar Tree and just get some bins to not make it so cluttered and just kind of organize everything.
bin up on our shelf is all of our Love Every toys. They are the wooden toys that I don't want the kids to break or to lose. And so we put those up and we take those down when um, the kids want to play with them. But this bin has just became a clutter, just a grab all bin. And so I needed to go through it, organize it and make sure all of the pieces are still there. As I was watching this clip over, there's a couple pieces that I forgot to grab to put into their baggies, but it's okay. We got the bin all organized with the toys and we put that back up on the shelf. And like I said, the kids just ask and we pull this bin down. I just don't want all those little pieces to be lost. I then moved on to the coat closet and we did just organize this so it wasn't terrible. It just... A lot of the coats just get thrown in there. My husband's coats just get thrown in there. And so I needed to hang those back up and get the shoes back and organized. Our kids do use the shoe rack up by our other door. So their shoes are not in here. They have leftover or leftover, not leftover shoes, extra shoes in the bins, but they don't wear those often. So I got that closet all organized and then just did another quick clean on the living room floor. I know this looks crazy, but I needed a place to store all of these cars and little toys until we could get that toy box cleaned. And so I grabbed Maya's pink camper and just kind of tossed everything in there for now so it wouldn't be all over our living room floor. And to be honest, it worked out really well. Not my preferred method, but for a bunch of cars, it worked out great. I then gave the second batch of toys a good rinse off and clean so they could dry and I could get those put away. I then decided I wanted to kind of organize underneath my sink. It wasn't terrible, but a lot of things just kind of get thrown in there. And so I just needed to put it all back in its place um, and get rid of some of the empty bottles. And so I did that real quick. And those little Swiffer, no, they're not Swiffer. Those uh, Bissell pads in the back, we do not use our Bissell mop anymore. We honestly hated it. So I could have gotten rid of those, but um, yeah, those are just in the back. Maybe we can use them as a backup. But as I'm watching this clip now, I should have pulled out the baskets to give them a good clean, but you know what? This is real life. Took everything out and put it right back into those dirty baskets. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I got everything all organized, put back in its place, and it feels nice and organized under our sink again.
I needed to get the laundry switched over and thank goodness it was just towels because towels are so easy. By the way, I hate our lint trap. It just causes lint to go everywhere. But towels are so easy compared to kids clothes. I feel like the dryer, it's like never ending kids clothes. So um, did the load of laundry and then I needed to fill up our laundry detergent, our sun beads and our OxyClean. I always get questions on where I got the glass containers. I bought mine at Walmart. I have seen them at Target. They're a little bit more pricier. Same with like Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can find them at the Container Store. You can also find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for a really good price. I know some people don't understand why I take it out of one container and put it into another container, but sometimes we do buy in bulk, and so with these bigger jars, I'm able to store more. Plus, it does give it a more organized look. then time to move on to the boys' room. Yes, Charlie sleeps on this end of the bed. Don't ask me. Bring it up with him because that's just the way he likes it. But a lot of their toys in their closet we did go through. But a lot of the bigger vehicles we just needed to get rid of. They just don't play with anymore or they're broken. And so I did that while they were at school because if they saw me getting rid of the toys they would want to keep it all and I you know I try to remind them you know that Christmas is coming up and you know let's make some room for some new toys to come into your room and so I went through all of their toys you'll see it is a lot of cars my kids are obsessed with cars monster trucks and like dollhouse playhouses and so I just organized all of that and in their bins in their closet as well we have a baby bin and then we also have like a little people bin. It's not technically little people, but like the little figurines and the doll play set accessories. And so it's really nice to have everything organized and just keep the toys that they are playing with because we did get to a point um, a couple years ago where there was just so many toys that they did not play with. And so we really focused on what their interest was and that was the cars, the monster trucks, and the playhouse play set. So um, it's really nice to just have these bins and to keep everything all nice and organized. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. got home and brought the toy box back in and got all of the rest of the toys that were stuck in the crack. I know that sounds weird for a toy box, but the way this toy box is built, there's these little cracks and crevices that the toys can get stuck in. Um, and he also said he wanted to use bathroom cleaner on the toy box. So I just let him do his thing. He got it all cleaned out, wiped out, and then he also sprayed it with Lysol let me tell you, it smells so much better. I have no idea what that liquid was. I'm guessing it was like a combination of like juice and milk that somehow got spilt at the bottom. But I'm so thankful that he did clean that out because my pregnant booty would not have been able to handle that smell. So I'm thankful for that. We got it put back and got all the toys and cars back into the toy box. It was the next day and I realized that we never got the chocolate advent calendars for our kids. That is a tradition in our family and so I know they would have been upset if we didn't have it. So we ran up to Target. Thankfully they had um, a couple left. We also stopped and looked at the toys. Of course it was so early in the morning so I let the kids just kind of roam around. There was no one there. It was just the workers. Um, we then went into the Christmas section to get the calendars, but also to find some things 
for Buddy the Elf to bring. And so I thought this would be some cute ideas for Buddy, like these little magnet boards and the ch uh, hot chocolate spoons. And also these little food ornaments are so cute if you have a child that loves like dolls. This would be perfect for like a dollhouse um, or for your elf. Target kind of sucked us in and we picked up some stuff that we uh, truly didn't need. But when we get home, I will show you guys everything that we got. Plus it was a $5 off $25 purchase. So, I mean, we did save some money. We just got home from Target, so I'm gonna do just a little Target haul. I already opened this. It is just the Pepto Kids. It's for Weston. He has a little bit of an upset belly, and I didn't think there was anything for him, um, but I found this, and it says two plus, so hopefully that will help him. The main reason we went to Target, yes, we have our mini brands advent calendar, but we always do a chocolate calendar, and we waited last minute, so picked up four of those. He wanted me to grab him some monsters. No, it didn't break. It just goes on the top. Here you go. Picked up my creamer. This is just the International Delight Peppermint Mocha. So good. Also picked this up. It's pretty much the same as the coffee I have, but it's just the iced espresso peppermint mocha, so I want to try that. We needed some bananas. We needed some juice, of course. Charles and Weston. Mario, they love it. Um, okay, I picked up these hot cocoa spoons. I thought this would be really fun for the kids. These were not cheap. These were like five bucks and I needed four of them and they only come in a pack of three, so I had to get two. Our elf is going to be bringing the kids one of these. There's only three, so I'm just going to leave a little candy out for Charles because he's still too little for Carmex, um, for chapstick. But the kids have really sensitive lips and chap lips right now, so I figured cute little snow Christmassy Carmex for them. I picked up this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I wanted to try it out, so I will let you guys know how I like it. Also use this with our e.l.f. We will set it up on the wall and then um, have a little note for the kids to write their Christmas list and leave it right there. Um, and it was only $3. I thought that was really cute. Did more bubble bath. It was either Frozen or Paw Patrol, and I feel bad always getting the Paw Patrol because Maya is my girly girl, and she... Sometimes she wants the girly stuff, so we picked up the frozen one this time, and then I also picked up this Pantene Hot Mama Heat Activated Hair Refreshing Spray. Um, I know Pantene's not the best for you. I understand that. I feel like their products are getting a little bit better, 0% alcohol, sulfates, or parabens, um, and so I feel like they're doing a little bit better, and I really wanted to try this, so... Um, it is just a heat spray to put on your hair before you like curl it, blow dry it, straighten it, do whatever. Ella is having a Christmas party where they're like building gingerbread houses and so I signed up to bring the pretzels. Um, and so I picked up the holiday pretzels. The rest of this bag is all of Charlie's little pouchies. So he loves having these in the morning. is also picked out, these were in the dollar section, they were $3. Um, these dough stampers, Coco Melon, and Blue's Clues. There's like a variety of different characters, so it's pretty much, hey Wes, can you go turn the train off? Cause it's stuck. Um, it's Play-Doh, and then it has, hold on, and then it has the little stampers on the uh, bottom. How cute! I'll open mine. So you have Blue's Clues. Who's yeah. this? Blue Clues. Who's that? Jenta. Okay, who's this? What is this? Uh -huh. School bus. And who's that? Daddy. We're gonna play with their Play-Doh and I'm gonna get the stuff put okay. away. I love organizing my fridge. I got my fridge containers from Costco or Sam's Club, but I have seen them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. They also sell them on Amazon. I feel like they're a little bit more expensive on Amazon. So if you're wanting to organize your fridge or your pantry or just anything in general, um, definitely look at like Marshalls 
or TJ Maxx because they have a bunch of these storage containers but I really love these for our fridge because I'm able to store the yogurts, the applesauce, the Charlie's pouches um, and just have everything neat and organized and not just thrown in there. I've had these peppermint cocoa cookies in our fridge for a while now and so I decided to bake those and the kids could have a yummy afternoon treat but that is the end of our vlog I hope you guys enjoy these cleaning and organizing and decluttering videos let me know if you want to see more of these Definitely go follow us over on our Instagram and our TikTok. I post a lot of little short videos like these over on there. Be sure to subscribe if you are not already. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you in our next vlog. Bye.